Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna have like a little part two um, on my gingerbread when, on my gingerbread girls. I just wanna show you, I was sitting there thinking about it last night. I was like, you know, I'd like to see them blinged out more. And in fact, I'm shocked that I didn't bling them out more on my first video. So I just wanna make a second video and just show you, show you how I blinged it out. Blinged them out a little more. Don't they look even more cute? Okay, so when I blinged them out, I use, go to your stash and just find whatever you have. I have a whole big thing of this I buy at a thrift, at a, at a flea market. It came on a big, huge tubular thing. So I have a ton of it. So let's go find some type of bling. So this is, I'm going to cut these off of here. And I use these for the bling here, bling here, bling here. Then at Dollar Tree, they have these and they have these, right? Everyone has seen these. So I took these and put them on the sleeves. And I took the little stones, just one at a time, and put them right in the middle of the buttons. I was going to remove the buttons, but then I thought, wait, can these go in the buttons? And yeah. Okay. And when I applied the little bling, I used the e.l.f. Um, wax pencil. You find this in the makeup section. But it's great to pick up rhinestones. I learned that from somebody a little while ago, and I was like, oh, what a great idea. So I just want to show you. Let me bling another one of these out just to show you how I did it. So that is that one. Um, you know, let's do a blue one because I haven't done a blue one yet. I don't have pink, blue stones, but I think the pink stones on the blue is going to look really cute, I think. So let's just do that. Okay, so let me cut these off here. These are all strung together. Oh, and I put one here, too, on the um, bow. Like I said, I'm kind of surprised that I didn't do this um, on my last video. I'm like, girl, why didn't you bling this stuff out more? Duh. And the other thing I discovered is put your glue down on the piece and then put your piece over it. So much easier. And then you have less chance of burning your damn stuff. I was always putting forever. I would put the glue on the back of the piece and then put it down. Uh, I've been crafting for how long? So Lord knows why I was thinking that. Stupid. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Look at my little mug. Isn't this beautiful? This is a Mackenzie Check mug. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I'm drinking, um, what am I drinking? I'm drinking um, some uh, hot water with lemon, uh, organic raw honey. Is that it? Yeah, just organic raw honey and lemon, and um, it tastes so good. Really healthy for you, and it tastes really good. I was sick a little while ago, so I like to drink things like that. The honey is very um, anti. Um, see, I started putting it on the back of it again. The honey is very um, antibacterial, antiviral. I didn't know if it's raw organic, it is. Um, helps build the immune system, removes mucus from the body. Just a bunch of good stuff. So, and then the lemon is just has a ton of vitamin C. Oh, and so does the um, honey. It has a lot of minerals in it too. The raw organic honey does. The, and then the lemons have a lot of vitamin C. They're very cleansing. They have a whole bunch of benefits too. So, look how much even more this looks awesome with even more. Awesome looking. I'm sure other people were thinking, Angela, I can't believe you're not blinging that up a little more. Girl, me neither. Okay, so these come off in strips, and I measured it out so that um, you do four pearls. One, two, three, four, and then cut. So, I love those Tim Holtz scissors. Woo, they're the best. You can cut through anything. So, just put the glue down. I'm so happy I finally found my little pink glue gun. I got on clearance for like two bucks. At the Hobby Lobby clearance.
and here it's a little bit longer, just a tad bit, and I'll cut that off. All right, so let's do the next one. And I like the, the base being blue and then the little bit of pink showing, the blue showing up through the pink, then the blue matches that. So we are good. And then the pink rhinestones match the pink gingerbread girl. You know, I looked up, I was trying to Google gingerbread girls and I could not find gingerbread girls, like little pink ones or whatever. I said pink gingerbread girls, just to kind of get some ideas. I wasn't seeing it. Not that it's never been done. I'm sure it has been, but doing these little girls, I guess it's not popular. One, two, three, four. It's all about gingerbread men. But my my Christmas is a pink shabby chic Christmas, so I wanted to have some little sh some shabby chic ones, pink ones, pink and robin's egg blue, because I love the robin's egg blue. I think that goes so good with the pink. Okay, and I'll go through and trim any excess off. And you can just go through your stash and bling them out yourself. You don't have to buy anything from Dollar Tree. Except for, you know, maybe the gingerbread food. Another thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use this gingerbread, um... I'm going to use this gingerbread shape as a pattern and to cut, cut a pattern out of this and um, and make my own little gingerbread stuffies, like, you know, soft little gingerbread stuffies. How cute is that going to be? I love it. I'm excited to do it. Okay. So that's there, and let me just cut this off here. That's why I like these Tim Holtz scissors. If you need to go through like metal or little pearls or something like that, you can go right through stuff. Real thin wood, it cuts real thin wood. It cuts metal if it's, you know, thin. Um, just getting all the glue strings off of here. Look how much cute, see how cute that looks? And it's just real quick and simple. I just wanted to show you guys. It's just another part, little part two, of just blinging out what we did with these gingerbreads. So I just wanted to show you this real quick. Um, I should have, well, I was going to, I know I was going to make it as a short, but then I thought, you know what? Let me just do a little explanation of what I'm doing. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. Um, the rhinestones and the belly button. How could I forget? Now these rhinestones, for the belly button are not that they're easy to work with if you're going to use the sticky part as the sticky part but i want to use it i want to use them um let me grab two off of here i want to use them um and put glue down because i want to make sure they stay i don't trust the glue on the back of here so let's put some glue right there in the middle i'm going to use my wax little pencil thing here by elf they they used to have these all the time but i haven't been seeing them now so now this would go on here easier if it wasn't sticking to my finger so i have to make sure it's not sticking to my finger so if you have any regular rhinestones in your stash you can use those too these do come on a strip so you can use them as a strip like i did these but i just cut them off the strip And they fit perfectly in these little buttons. I almost ripped the buttons off. That's what I was going to do. And, um, and I was like, why are you going to rip the buttons off when you could just put the bling in the middle of the button? Like, why do all that work when it could look even just even more cute by adding the bling in the button? And they fit perfectly in there. It wasn't even planned. It just was meant to be. Let me just grab a little bit of this glue strings. 
I love hot glue. I'm a hot glue fan. I just hate glue strings. It drives me nuts. Those glue strings are just like, oh, get off. And they get everywhere, too. Alright, there we go. And then get all over your hand. Glue strings! Okay. More glue strings. Okay. We're going to ignore the glue strings now. Stop being crazy about the glue strings. And let me, let me see what you guys are seeing. Let me get my mirror. What is my mirror? Okay, I usually have my mirror right here so I can make sure I'm in frame, but I just looked it up. Oh, here it is. There it is. Okay, I just want to make sure we're in frame here so you guys can see these. So look how cute, you guys. So there we go. Just wanted to show you, just adding a little extra bling. Look how many more cute they look. Okay, you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you do so, if you give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And let me know, do you, do you like them better than I blinged them up more? Or do you like them better plainer? You can do some plainer and some blinged up. Whatever. Just wanted to share that with you guys. All right. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.